Okay guys, welcome back to part two of the CR500 motor build. In this video, I'm installing the gear shift mechanism, the clutch, and installing the right side cover. Okay, so the first thing to be done is to install the shift drum stopper spring. And then uh, don't forget that little washer right there. Then next is the drum stopper. And make sure to tuck it behind the bend on the spring. And then install the bolt, which is the pivot for this and torque that to 100, 108 inch pounds. Next is the shift drum. So when you put this in there, there's a little pin on the backside. You need to make sure to index it with that pin. And then you're gonna install this bolt, which is called the shifter pin, and torque that to 16 foot pounds or 192 inch pounds. All right, so just going through each of these gears, it's all the way to the right, that's the first gear. And then that's neutral right there. If I can stop that, I spin the shafts independently. Let's go to second, third, third, fourth, fifth. There we go. Now once you've installed the pawls and the springs uh, into the guide plate, you can install that like this. And that's, it, this thing was pretty dang hard <laughs> to, to get on, but with enough attempts, I was able to get it on and there it goes. And make sure you throw those bolts in there and torque those to nine foot pounds or 108 inch pounds. Next up is the Kickstopper plate with some blue uh, blue Loctite and uh, torque that to nine foot pounds. And then install the Kickstarter assembly like you see me do right here. spring gets brought around and inserted into that extra hole right there on the case. All right, next is the primary drive gear. Use some uh, Loctite blue and torque this guy up to 33 foot-pounds. You might have to do it later on when you can jam like a penny or something up against the, the gear on the clutch basket. Installing the clutch assembly is not so bad. Just lube and install this collar right here, followed by the needle bearing, and then the outer clutch basket. large washer that you gotta put on there. Put some lube on there and put it in there followed by the inner clutch basket. And then it's the discs. First with the friction disc and then alternating back and forth with the friction plates that you've previously soaked in gear oil. Install the lock washer and bend the tabs down and then uh, install the center nut and torque that to 60 foot pounds. I like to throw some grease on the gasket surfaces just to make sure that the make sure the gasket seats nicely and you can pull it apart later on if you need to. And if you haven't already torqued the water pump impeller, that gets torqued to uh, nine foot pounds or 108 inch pounds. And then uh, install the case bolts, and torque them up to seven foot pounds or 84 inch pounds, and that's it. Well, thank you for watching. In the next video, I'm going to be uh, finishing off this motor completely and
getting ready to put in a frame.